These are archival tapes. Okay, you know? beautiful thing. Um, These are the raw tapes. Yeah, let, let, there is a thing, I want to talk about the business part, mm. especially the whole thing with slave, whatever have you. When mm -hmm. he did that, everybody said, well, what's his name now? I said, oh yeah, I can pronounce it. Oh, uh -huh. that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> I was immediately, I said, I said oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's his name. That's what, how you pronounce it's a sound. Symbol, right. That's, that's, the, sound. that's, the, that's the sound. That's the sound. You're right. You know, uh, but here's the thing. His issue is this, and I was watching this uh, documentary on uh, Nat King Cole. Now let me, I'm not going to get the numbers right but here's but here's the thing what happened was they gave him they, the capital records gave him like let them just put throw any number out there like a two million dollar contract right mm -hmm. two million that's that's a lot of money back in those days in the 50s and 60s early 60s 50s. but here's here's the thing he made for them he made something like 65 million dollars so is it some prince brought this up about, about a contract that i think uh alicia keys or somebody got the point is well you you got two million dollars they got basically right. sixty-three million dollars right, right, off right. of you. Right. Can't it be some way where, okay, there's a certain amount, you know, you get to two million, whatever it is. But after you just get a certain number, then now you and the company start splitting the thing. He was talking about even before when he passed, he was talking about before fifty-fifty in terms of, okay, now he has his masters. But with Warner Brothers, it was like, okay, I want a fifty-fifty split with my masters, and and I think. Right before it was like 40 60, mm -hmm. but he was talking about 50 50. And it was, well, nobody in the industry, the one of us, nobody in the industry gets that, blah blah blah. But yeah, he was moving in, in that direction. Mm -hmm. Look, Stevie Wonder, I mean, they gave him a million dollars when he turned 21, but his sales were like 30 million dollars, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So eventually, they had that change around. But he's Stevie, and after he was talking about some of the things that Prince is talking about, talk, making it fair. And Prince was moving in that direction to make it fairer, so to speak. So, but the, a modern day pioneer in terms of artist rights, Prince. But this is, the, I think, this is the fear, uh, the the fear. Oh yeah. Well, the industry is that oh, people yeah. will finally figure this out, oh, even yeah. though it's like I said, it's been around since since Nat right. King Cole, as far as understanding it, right. you know. Right. And, and 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 I think they fear that if the artists oh, finally understand that, and when they get around to their third time of, of signing, course. they say, oh gosh, we got to give it up. And why are they that greedy? Anyway, that's the question. The question is, why are you that greedy? Who are you giving this money to? I mean, you could talk about American society, why are certain people so greedy in many different uh, areas? It's like, how much more money do you need? And how much more? Pe how many more people are you going to exploit? American I mean, capitalism can be very, a very exploitative uh, system, so to speak. And um, with Prince, it was, you know, he was like, look, let me get my fair share. And he was he was pushing that. Look, and this was a superstar during Purple Rain, big, big money, but as, and he always had it, he always held on to his publishing. But in terms of the masters and those sales, that came into play a little later. But near the end, it was like, okay, it's equal. And now I pray, even though he didn't leave a will, that uh, the estate is coming together with his sister and his half brothers and one of his former lawyers to kind of put things in order so that the legacy and the proper members of his family will benefit and that's a true point about a very important point to make sure his family benefits he made a mistake then not having a will well you know it's interesting uh i hear you and i and i have to agree with that of mm -hmm. course right but in a way i don't because I, because it exposes a lot of things it makes people conscious always just like with shaka and her sister mm. we gotta we gotta go to rehab right. you know but a lot of more people we gotta think about wills um and in a weird sort of sense again i'm, I'm talking I, I, again i'm not correct i am wrong often okay i'm not correct but think of what happens now explosion of all of these bootlegs and all of these concerts or whatever have you is on the internet because nobody can you know the, who, who can stop it you know mm -hmm. so we have this small window until they get it together right. you know what i mean that people are going to get all the all, all, all but, this stuff you know they have to realize and i think Prince, to a certain degree, realizes like, you know, we'll if you make it available yourselves, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll buy it from you. That's right. Anything that's at a be, reasonable price, we'll yes. buy it from you. Everything we'd rather get. And when Bootleg Express came out, one concert that wasn't really Bootleg that much was Prince and Revolution Live from Syracuse. Why? Because it was available. Mm. It was available. The other ones got Bootleg, but not that one mm. because it was available. Make it available, bro. 
Well, he was he was very tech savvy too. So he was he was he, on know. point with that, you know. Yeah. And uh, but he was always very capricious too because he had a nice you know MPG Music Club set up where yeah. he beat the scalpers and everything, mm. and then he got bored of it and stopped it. I was like, why? It's working. It's not that you're gonna stop recording and producing and everything. You're gonna continue to do your art, but it's working, my brother. Why would you stop that? That's Prince. Mm.